Hi, I'm Victoria. In today's session with Looking Good with Sir Matt, I'm going to show you how to do a special Valentine's Day look with the Eleganza Eyeshadow Passion. The first step before you start your makeup is to prime your face. You use a little bit of the Anastasia Sphere Primer and just dab it across your face to set your face ready before you get your makeup done. Our next step is going to be to define your eyebrows. We are going to use the Glamour for Eyes and Eyebrows from Eleganza. And remember, always start from the middle part of your eyebrow and extend out. The brush I'm using here is an angled eyebrow brush that is part of our Surmat brush kit. If you have dark hair, remember to always use the dark brown. Do not use a dark black color. If you have a light brown hair to blonde, use the light brown shade that is in the eyebrow palette. Our next step, we're going to use our corrector wheel from Anastasia Sphere, and we're going to use the flat contour brush that we have. Remember always to use one to two shades lighter than your skin tone. This is gonna help clean the eyebrows and they are going to look much more defined. After you apply it with the dual concealer foundation brush, go ahead and blend the color onto your skin just with the tips of your fingers. As you can see, they look a whole lot much cleaner and highlighted. Apply the same color concealer onto your eyelid. Once this is blended out, this will help for your eyeshadow to last longer. Now we will apply our eyeshadow with our eyeshadow brush. Remember to use the lightest shade that you have or that is closer to your skin tone because this will be the base that we will use before we start our eyeshadow. Now that we have our base, remember to use the light pink shade of the palette and always start from the outside and work your way in, always with circular motions. Deposit the color right here and just go in. This will give you a nice blended Valentine's Day look. Next, we will use the crease brush to deposit the darkest color on the outside of your eye in a V-shaped form. Do not go past this. This will help give your eye a more intense, darker look. Now with our eyeshadow brush, we are going to apply the earth tone color onto from our tear duct all the way to the middle part portion of our eyelid. Now that we have our eyeshadow on, the next step is to put on our liquid eyeliner. We are going to use the liquid eyeliner from Reflex. Remember to always start from the middle part out. Now that we have our eyes done, our next step is to apply our foundation on. In this case, we will be using our flat top kabuki brush to apply the Anastasia Scare liquid makeup foundation in the color Sweet Velvet. Remember to go ahead and blend it all out all the way towards your neck and jawline. Now that we have applied our foundation, our next step is to apply our highlighting and contour. The highlighting we will use our concealer. Remember for your concealer to always use one to two shades lighter than your skin tone. This will highlight and give you light to your face. Remember to start on the bridge of your nose all the way to the tip. And then we will highlight this going up a straight line. And remember to highlight depending on how big or how small your forehead is. Then we are going to draw arches off to the side. And remember to highlight always your chin. This works the same way as your forehead. If you have a small chin, highlight it more. If you have a bigger chin, we are going to add contour. Next, we are going to highlight under the eye. Remember when we are highlighting, we want to highlight in a heart shaped form like this. So we have already highlighted on the top portion, on the bridge of the nose, and now under the eyes. And remember that if we have these creases on our nasal folds, to go ahead and get rid of that, we highlight on those areas. After we're done highlighting our face, we will now apply the contour. Remember to use a dark shade to go ahead and give that shadow effect to your face. To get some chiseled cheekbones and some chiseled jawline, remember to apply this straight down. When you're going to apply your contour, start from where your ear starts and then down. This will make your cheekbones pop out more. Go ahead and apply it to the temples to give that shadow effect. And on the other side of the bridge of the nose, this will help your nose look much smaller. And once again, we put a little bit on the forehead. Now to blend out the highlighted colors, we will use a stippling brush. Remember to just go ahead and blend out all the highlighted colors where we added all the light concealer. Now to blend out the contours, we're going to use the flat angled contour brush. Remember that this is a lot of blending. 
when you are blending your jawline, make sure to go down so you won't have two colors. And when blending out the temples, always blend it towards your hairline. To go ahead and set our makeup after our contouring and highlighting, we are going to use the translucent powder on the areas where we highlighted. This will help set our makeup. Now to go ahead and set our contour, we are going to use the flat angled powder brush right where we contour, which is going to be under the cheekbone, under the jawline, on the sides of the nose, your temples, and the superior portion of the forehead. Now with our powder brush, we are going to use the compact powder from Anastasia Sphere in the tone Sweet Velvet to go ahead and soften the edges of where we highlight and contour so it does not look so harsh. Now we will apply our blush with the Anastasia Sphere Blush Stick. Remember to start from the middle portion of your face outwards. Then we will go ahead and blend this out with the powder brush. Now with our black eyeliner retractable smudge tip, we are going to apply it to the lower waterline of our eyes. We will apply our mascara from Eleganza with our curved brush. Remember to apply it on your top lashes and your lower lashes. Now with our lip brush, we will apply the color Daiquiri from the Long Lasting Lipsticks from Eleganza. Now to finish our Valentine's look, we will use the Illuminating Concealer from Reflex. Apply this on the top of your cheekbone, on the cupid's bow, and on your tip of your nose and the bridge of the nose. This will give you a shiny, glam look for Valentine's Day. Ready, girls. Now we're ready to go on our Valentine's date. Sermat, luxury within your reach.